This is Modern Refugee. I want to talk to you about uh, candles I make. They're uh, Crisco candles. I kind of want to show you here a little bit uh, what, how much light that they give. Um, this candle right here is actually uh, it's burned a couple days. I don't know if you can see that in there, but that's kind of what it looks like after a few days of using this candle. And this is kind of what a newer one looks like. And it kind of gives you an idea what the uh, what the light that these candles give out. I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, how I make these and I'll give you a little background on this stuff. Turn a little light on so we can uh, see here. But uh, as you can see, Crisco, see the little candle in the eye right there, Crisco was kind of uh, made to make candles. That's why that candle's in the eye like that. It's a soybean oil, a lot of expensive candles. That's kind of the ingredient in the wax that they use is a soybean oil. And that's what Crisco is made out of. And I like jars to put them in because they kind of, I don't like uh, making them inside the containers. I like them in the jars because they give off a light. Plus, you know, I don't have to worry about a fire or anything like that if this paper ca carton catches on fire. I save jars like uh, salsa jars and spaghetti sauce jars, and spaghetti sauce jars actually make really decent candles. I always save the lids on them, and then the uh, lids can go back in uh, on them after I um, uh, make my candle. So, what do I use for wick? There's a couple different wick options you can use. This is actually a wick kit that I got off of Amazon a while ago. Been using this for quite some time now. And what that is, is that's just your pre-done up wick, kind of like this. And it comes with these little discs. And these discs, you thread the wick right into these discs. Show you here. And then that gives you a base to use, your, uh, use as a candle. Uh-oh, puppy time. That there, that's Refugee Rover. And then there's also homemade wicks. This is a homemade wick that I just make with uh, cotton twine from Walmart, and I tie a uh, washer on the end of it. Now to secure these wicks in the jars, I just use a dab of uh, just silicone caulking. I've been using this uh, tube for a couple years already. But anyway, you just put a little dab on the bottom of it, and you secure that down on the bottom of the jar, just like that. And then I uh, tie the wick up on the top of a uh, on the top with a pencil and the pencil's got a flat sides on it so that it'll lay flat across the top of the jar. Now as I pour my Crisco into this uh, jar that'll keep my wick standing up straight so when the Crisco solidifies makes a candle. And I'm going to show you that right here. All I do is I'll put the Crisco in the microwave for about 30 seconds at a crack and then stir it another 30 seconds until it becomes a liquid state. And then you just pour it into your jar, just like so. And when you're almost up to the top, it's full. Now, this will take probably about a day, and this will harden up, and that will turn into something like this. And I always save the uh, lids for my jars. So then I'll trim that wick back, and I'll take the lid and put it on there, and then this can be put up for storage. So I've got candles when the power goes out, or if I just want to burn a candle in the house um, for a little heat or whatever. Um, that's uh, how I make my Crisco candles. And they're, uh, as far as I've had people ask me if they smoke, if they smell, they do have a slight smell. It almost reminds me of what an old kerosene uh, lamp used to be when I was a kid. It's got just a real light smell to it, but nothing that I would call uh, unpleasant or anything. And the only thing that you got to do with these candles is every so often, you'll ha when uh, you get a little carbon buildup on them, you got to take a scissors and trim the wick back. And that's kind of what those little black balls are down in the bottom is where I trim the wick. Now, your another question you're probably wondering is is how uh, how you light something like that down in the uh, jar when it starts getting down in the jar and the answer to that is, is it's a spaghetti. You take a spaghetti and you hold it into your flame and that'll light just like that. So then you can just take that 
and put that right down in to light your candle. And you can get several lightings off of uh, one spaghetti. So I just keep those beside my candles so I can um, light them. I hope uh, somebody gets some uh, ideas from my Crisco candles here. I uh, always keep a few of these around just in case the power goes out or whatever. But uh, that way you can uh, have an item like the Crisco, the all vegetable shortening. You can use it for two different things. You can use it for its for actual shortening or you can use it to make candles. So it's kind of a multi-purpose item to have around. I uh, hope you enjoy this information. This is Modern Refugee. This is a quick follow-up on last night's uh, candle making video. It's been 24 hours since I made this candle and as you can see with the trimmed wick made a decent looking candle and the lid saved the lid from the jar when I started with I can just add this right to it for storage now this candle can go up with the rest of my gear it's all set just kind of wanted to show everybody what the finished product looked like